We're uh, with the highway patrol, and we've just stopped at this exit ramp, 181, where I-95 is shut down, and you can see all the way down, there's a line of traffic. Some of these are big rigs carrying supplies. Some of them are disaster response teams that are trying to get to those flood-ravaged areas of North Carolina, and the problem is right now, there's no good way to get there, and every single one of these cars has to stop and talk to a state trooper right now. Trooper Bob is with me. He's actually Lieutenant Bob Ferris, who's the public information officer. What are these troopers telling drivers as they're getting off of this ramp? They can go no further on I-95. Right, they're here. They're local troopers telling local people where to go in this area, but mo most of the people want to get to North Carolina, so we're pushing them on two other major routes to get them to Charlotte. they got to go way around now. Any sense of how much longer it's going to take them to get to Charlotte, which may not be their final destination at any rate? Well, it's going to be an extra 20 miles south to get them on Interstate 20 to get them on 77 to Charlotte. Okay, so they're having to take a long detour. I also know that in North Carolina, the state has said, please, if you're an out-of-state motorist, don't even come through North Carolina. What's the option? Well, there is no option. I mean, we have interstates that are flooded. That's one of the major arteries. That's why we're encouraging people not to come to this yeah. area. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do the ride-along now. We're, we're going in Trooper Bob's car. Walk along with me. Here's what we know. This is the route that we came in yesterday from Myrtle Beach. We know that some of it's flooded. We're going to go check out some of these areas where we know that there are guys trying to get to North Carolina. We'll bring that to you live when it happens. But again, at this point, even though parts of South Carolina are starting to get back to business, the ports, the airports are largely open in South Carolina. Wilmington area is still very, very uh, flooded that people can't get home, and it's causing major confusion and a lot of frustration here on the ground. So I'll bring that to you live as we see these flooded areas, guys. Contessa, what, what, what are the trucks bringing? I mean, are there shortages of products? Are there businesses that have not well, been able to open because of some of the problems in the supply chain that you're talking about? Yeah. Look, Sarah, it's a great question. The, the quick answer is I don't exactly know, but we've seen Walmart delivery trucks, right? There's been a lot of these Walmarts that have been closed down for now multiple days. They closed, Many of these Walmarts closed down by Tuesday when the governor first ordered evacuations. And then I talked to a guy earlier who was trying to get to pick up loads of rip, what he calls riprap, right? This is the rocks that are going to be needed to rebuild a CSX train line. There was a train that derailed carrying chemicals. He's part of the response team that goes in and tries to get those tracks back on. He can't get to the place to get the rocks and then deliver the rocks to North Carolina so that they can get this track back up and running. This is a real problem for getting commerce moving again.